Thank you. Mr Agnew. Thank you, Chairman. Um, I've been in sheep farming for, I think it's 37 years, not quite as much as the, uh, the Speaker. And there's one thing I've noticed, one big change in that time, and that is the rise of the Muslim population in Britain, who particularly like older sheep. We call them cull ewes. Hitherto, there was not much demand for these animals, and farmers tended to just let them go on breeding until they died. Now, they tend to look after them better, only have three or four crops of lambs from them and sell them as a valuable item, and often they're more valuable than the prime lambs, which is very helpful. 20% of British sheep meat is actually consumed by the British Muslim population, who are only maybe 3 or 4% of it. That's an increasing factor as well. That's very helpful. You mentioned decoupling. I think that was the best thing that ever happened to the sheep industry, because previously people just kept sheep to farm the subsidy. They weren't looked after very well and there was a lot of welfare implications with that. So that's gone. It's more market focused now. And you may say, well, what about Brexit? Isn't there a, doesn't Britain have a trading surplus with the rest of the EU? Isn't, isn't that going to be a problem? Well, I don't think it will be, because even if they're silly enough, the 27, to raise high tariffs um, against our sheep meat, we don't have to raise very high tariffs. We don't have to raise particularly high tariffs against French wine, Spanish fruit, German cars, to make the 27 see a bit of sense. And of course then there's the whole business of Northern Ireland and the Republic. I can foresee thousands of sheep drifting across that 310 mile border, uh, which is bog and mountain. Nobody else can move across it except for sheep. Those sheep suddenly become Irish sheep, which then can be exported into the single market. Good opportunities there. Some of the challenges are domestic dogs now, people with savage dogs at savage sheep, rustling. And, of course, my favourite man, George Monbiot, who wants to take all the sheep off the, off the highlands because he thinks they should be rewilded. Thank you.